The experience of divine wisdom is your sacred right. Divine wisdom is what guides you along a spiritual path. It is this inner knowing that helps you to witness yourself as infinitely more abundant, loving, incredible. It is your inner wisdom that guides you to live your highest potential and to experience all that you are even as you continue to expand and seek more. In each episode of the Wisdom Podcast, you will hear what insights, offerings, and truth have helped others conquer their fears. Be resilient, live empowered and happy. You may hear your own story in some of the stories of my clients as they have healed themselves, become in control of their life, and as they have reclaimed their authentic power. Seeking a deeper understanding and meaning of life awakens us to discover our purpose and to witness the infinite beauty and joy that is so abundant. All of us are on a sacred path. When we awaken to this, we easily access the guidance of our inner wisdom and we see the beauty of life unfolding in perfect ways to help us manifest all of what we want. I hope that each episode of this podcast can offer something relevant and timely for you and that the sacred path that you are on is one that you choose deliberately based on the inspired wisdom of your inner truth as you live a beautiful and love-filled life. Hello and welcome, this is Dorothy. Is there a deeper secret to why some people seem to have so much abundance and privilege in their life? It can't possibly be just luck. And if you've heard the word manifesting, and if you observe that you are doing this, is there a secret to how it's done so that you can be far more consistent in what you are manifesting, and by choice? If there is one secret that may inspire you to listen on, it's this. We all don't manifest enough. You could be manifesting so much more of what you desire each day simply by having more clarity of what you want and knowing how to deliberately put this into practice so that you can witness its arrival, its manifest in your present life. I think that this is such an important topic both for realizing how much we are in control of our destiny and also because to manifest reminds us of our powerful nature as we use our free will to decide and then receive all of what we want. I couldn't be happier to share with you these simple yet imperative three secrets to help you manifest all things. And please remember to download the free content in this episode. It's a wonderful manifesto just to help inspire you to do what you already are doing, only to do it in a far more conscious and deliberate way. All right, so let's dive into the episode. How do you take an idea, a thought, something that you desire deeply, and turn it into a reality in the physical world? How do you do this repeatedly? and for all of what really matters to you. You are already manifesting in all moments, often without realizing that you are doing this. What I want to help you become better at is how to bring into your life what is most wanted, desired, and needed. What is most important to you, what you dream about, and what you have always wanted. 
This is what makes manifesting powerful and deliberate. And it allows you to play much more in your life because of what you are consciously seeking and in your ability to materialize your deepest desires. The truth is that we've always been manifesting. It's just that we have more recently awakened to this realization. You manifest by using your free will choice, by the laser sharp focus that you use to direct your mind and the intensity of emotion that you feel towards something. However, if you are fearful or dreading what you do not want, while powerful, your emotions and your thoughts of what is unwanted become what you are drawing to yourself because of the universal law of attraction. Because the universe is energy, it acts as a mirror and a magnet, drawing to you what you are vibrating. If your vibration or energy field is of pure and loving thoughts, you are attracting this. In conscious, deliberate manifesting, you are choosing what you want to bring into your life rather than what you don't want. Whatever is your current reality has already been manifested because of what you have desired, or in some cases, what has been your focus of what you do not want. Manifesting is about using the universal metaphysical law of attraction that's always in place to your advantage to harness and manifest what you want and to do this as much as possible. It's important just to remember that you are always attracting what you are. If you've noticed, when you are in a positive mood, for example, people seem to be friendly. Things tend to work out easier and with greater ease for you, and you are more productive in your work. The positive energy state that you are in, fueled by your thoughts and feelings, is what attracts more of the same by nature of this universal law. This is also why, if you are in a low mood, you likely will perceive tasks to be more challenging, difficult, and as if your life in these moments is not moving in the same ease and flow. Manifesting is deliberate co-creating with the universe. Since this is something that you are always doing, if you can get behind this and use the best strategies for deliberately bringing into your life what you really want, you will feel the power you have to manifest everything. Before we dive in, let me share a few helpful tips that will make it even easier for you to manifest. First, it's necessary to have clarity, to be absolutely certain about what you want or desire most. Even if this is clarity about how you want to feel, because your feelings are powerful systems of energy. The best way to get clarity is to be completely honest with yourself about what you really want and why. Desires are heart-conscious yearnings. They are meaningful and authentic feelings and ideas of what you deeply wish for or want. It's wonderful if your desires can be aligned with your highest self and the vision that you have to live your life's purpose. Yet every choice, no matter how insignificant it may seem, moves you along a trajectory, a path. Let your desires be what inspires your path and what moves you towards your highest level goals and ideals. Second, manifesting requires a commitment of letting go of any attachment to how your life will progress based on what you have decided for it, 
and for instead holding an attitude of acceptance towards what comes based on the positive feelings that you have towards what you want. You may not always receive what you desire in the precise way or timeline that you would like. And so it's important to allow for flexibility, to be open to the way in which your desires unfold. Third, pay close attention to your feelings as you are manifesting. The moment that you no longer hold the same intensity of positive feelings for what you want, it's important to examine if what you want is different. If your desire has changed, align yourself with what is most important now. Your desires, like anything else, are fluid and transient. Sometimes what you wanted very much is now no longer what you desire at all. Always follow your heart. Change makes way for what is better for you. All right, we're diving in. And the first secret to manifesting is this. You must choose with your heart and feel the desired feelings as the true experience that you are seeking. Choosing with your heart is purposeful and deliberate. Be definitive and unwavering by what you are guided by, what inspires you, and what dreams and ideals you think about most. This is your inner GPS. Following it allows you to live an abundant and love-filled life. Knowing why you want to do something helps to clarify and validate its importance to you. What matters most is that this is of your choosing and that it feels right. Practice going within to listen, to hear and trust your inner voice. Become better at quieting your mind in order to hear what is sometimes a soft whisper. The inner calling that you feel towards something is called desire. Knowing why you want something helps to clarify and validate its importance to you. What matters most is that this is of your choosing and that it feels right. There may be times when you do not have a reason for why you desire something, except that it is something that you feel strongly compelled to do or be. This is actually a great sign that what you want is not based in ego, but out of a pure and altruistic desire that satisfies a deeper yearning and one that is driven by your soul consciousness, your highest self. This desire is fueled by inspiration and the deeper aspects of your soul made present as you take notice. Most of the time we are so busy thinking, analyzing, and being distracted by an overload of sensory information that it takes practice to hold stillness both physically and in our mind, if only for moments at a time. As you become better at going inward and paying attention to this inner dwelling consciousness, you will feel the guidance of your inner wisdom distinctly, and you will be able to distinguish it from the voice of your mind. Often, the preliminary work that is needed for manifesting involves helping you to know yourself best and to deepen your resolve and your confidence in lasting ways so that you can decide with certainty the life path that you want most, beginning with the steps that you know will help take you there, even if the path that you are on now is very different. Simultaneously, building self-confidence will enhance your ability to trust in the decisions that you make as the right and best ones for you. If you want to grow your confidence, then please have a listen next to Season 1, Episode 6 of The Wisdom Podcast, where I've streamlined the process for how to become more confident into three 
powerful secrets. All right, and so the second secret of manifesting is this. See and believe in what you want. We underestimate the power of our thoughts and what we envision, the images we see in our mind, as how we manifest our future. When you are clear about something that you absolutely want, begin to see it as though it is already existing in your life, in the present. This is a form of active daydreaming, not too unlike what you did as a child. Use your creative imagination and visualization skills to think about and daydream your ideal often. This is also a perfect way to remind yourself of just how playful the experience of life truly is when you can begin to see everything as within your power to co-create. Desire is powerful. Having desire will help instill belief and faith. Once you are clear about what you want, imagine that it is already in your life, in the present. As you do this, notice what feelings are stirred and roused for you within your body. These positive feelings are likely of the same nature as what you would hope to feel from having your ideal manifest. Each time that you experience the feelings of what you desire now, in the present, you are attracting to yourself what you desire. And I'd also like to share a few tips for building your confidence in the having of what you want. Having confidence in knowing what you want helps you to believe in what you are manifesting. Use the words I am and I have to imagine and curate belief in what you are manifesting. For example, I am calm and in control of how I feel. I know what I want and I am bringing this into my life now. And I am enjoying the feelings and the experience of thinking about what I am manifesting. Other I am statements that build confidence and belief in what you are manifesting are, I am worthy of having my dreams realized. And I am deserving of all of the material wealth and happiness that I want. These are examples of core beliefs, absolute ways of thinking about yourself that are rehearsed and strengthened each time they are spoken and felt within your being. And of course, these are some general statements that you can use as well as your own specific ideals and desires. You can have the most incredible ideas and dreams for what you want, but if you doubt in your ability and in deserving what you desire. No matter how exciting your ideals and desires are, your self-doubt will sabotage belief in your ability to manifest. Without belief in what you are telling yourself and in what you are imagining, you will not feel the positive emotions that help to anchor confidence and which draw what you want into your life. Manifesting begins with feeling the way you want to feel now, even when what you want is still on its way to you. This is where I may help you align your true beliefs with what you want, so that as you think about your deepest desires, you also hold belief in your deserving of them, and to trust that they will manifest, simply because they are most important to you. As you focus on the feelings that arise with what you want to manifest, notice that your feelings serve as validation for knowing when something is right and best for you. Whenever you are deliberately manifesting, your feelings are powerful. They elicit the energy of anticipation, happiness, and excitement, 
which allows for you to remain open to receiving what you want. Remember that you want to elicit first the positive feelings that you anticipate having when your manifestation is complete. Whenever you feel anxiety or any other unpleasant feeling, it's likely that you are focusing on what you don't truly want. Being aware of this helps to remind you to shift your focus and to reaffirm what you truly want instead. The universe is energy, and so we will, like a magnet, draw to us what we focus on and think about most, even if it is the opposite of what we want. We can also get discouraged by what we see in our present reality. But think of your present reality as what you have already manifested. If you want something different, then you must continue to focus on your current desire. Use I am statements to depict what you want now and of the present. Since manifesting is a deliberate choosing of what you want, it's important for you to focus on the having of what you want and not the absence or lack of this. I am and I have statements are the best way to evoke the clear wanting of what you are materializing in the physical world through your desire of what is possible. For example, I feel happiness easily. I enjoy my life now. And I am healthy. And I am now manifesting my ideal level of physical fitness. And I am ready now for the most incredible love relationship of my life. Your I am and also I have statements need to be based on your desires and not what is directly in front of you at this moment. Since what is before you may be something different, your ideal not yet realized. I can remember working with a client for some time who was so disappointed that she had not manifested the love of her life and she became quite discouraged, disappointed and often gave up on the whole process. But as I continued to remind her to focus on what she wanted, the qualities, the kind of relationship, the kind of partner that she wanted, and to never lose hope, even though it took some time, she is now two years into her relationship with her true soulmate. You never want to give up on what is so important to you. That often is the only reason why we don't manifest our true desires. And here's a few tips on how to elicit excitement and positive feelings as you engage in the imagining of what you desire most. It is the experience of your thoughts and beliefs that determine how you feel. Do you become excited thinking about a new career that you have your heart set upon? Do you feel happy when you envision having more than enough money and wealth for whatever you want? Pay attention to what you are telling yourself because every cell in your body is aligning itself based on what you tell it. Tell yourself you are still fat and you'll never find a career that you love or that you don't have enough money and you will feel very different and likely defeated than if you tell yourself, I am doing all of the right work now to be my healthy ideal. And I have many wonderful qualities. I am exploring career paths to find my ideal job. And I have more than enough money for anything that I desire. Begin to practice feeling how your words resonate in your body. This is an important indicator of how powerful your words are. When your words elicit a strong emotion, a desire, you are building the path between how you feel now and what you are wanting for your life. The feelings of excitement, energized, calm, confident, and others that you can co-create and feel now is the direct path to harnessing the power 
of manifesting, using the law of attraction to bring these same feelings and results into your life. And finally, the third secret of manifesting is this. Always do the work to make your desires your reality. Since we are all co-creators with the universe, it means that we must move in the direction of what is wanted. Take action to ensure that you achieve your goals, that you manifest what you want by taking the steps towards this in the physical world. Your clarity and belief in what you want and your ability to envision this repeatedly, together with taking action towards your desired outcome, are the most powerful indicators of what you will manifest. Consider this example for a moment. Imagine that you've identified an important course that will help you in your area of expertise and will likely open new opportunities for you in your career. Taking the course that you've been considering will likely also help you feel more confident and knowledgeable about the changes that you've been seeking for your work. Choosing to not take that course, if you deem it to be important for changing your career, may add to your feelings of worry and self-doubt and a lack of confidence about where you are headed in your career and how you will get there. Action is very powerful. Do the work. Take action towards what you want as you continue to focus on and visualize the having of your desire. And as you note the positive feelings that are felt as you think about and act on this. Think of it as your consciousness working in unison with the universal consciousness as one powerful source of energy that you are wielding each time you use these secrets for manifesting. Take the steps that are needed to deliberately manifest what you desire most. Continue to hold belief and to see and imagine all that you want. At times, you can waver in your belief, and yet in these moments, you can still hold your desire strong in what you want, using reaffirming words to hold belief and confidence. Use these three secrets as the basis for everything that you are manifesting. And finally, let me offer a secret bonus life habit for manifesting that can underscore everything. It's always important to be grateful. First, for what is on its way to you, even before it shows up. Sometimes you will need to wait longer than you would ideally want for what you are manifesting. As long as this continues to be what is most important to you, and as you continue to place focus on this, and feel the positive energy of the having of it. It, or something even better, will manifest. Using all of these secrets makes for an intentional means of materializing into the physical world what you most desire as you play with the universe in your co-creations. And if you would like my help to become even better at manifesting, please visit me at DorothyRatusny.com. And I invite you to reach out to me for any questions you may have on this topic. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode of the Wisdom Podcast. To hear more, please check out the other episodes here. And then join me at DorothyRatusny.com, where you can share your questions and feedback from this or any episode with me, and where you'll also find the Wisdom blog, the inspiration for this podcast, the latest online courses that I teach, my YouTube videos, an extensive library of free guided meditations for you to experience and enjoy, plus other special offerings of love please also visit me on social media and say hello. 
Allow yourself to go within, to access your inner wisdom, and to live this. Awaken your authentic power, live your truth, and be love. This is Dorothy. Namaste.